Yeah, for that kind of price, I decided to become a big spender. So I invested a whopping almost five US dollars and bought three pairs. So now I'm really set for the tropics. I don't have air conditioning here in my office apartment. I rely on fans like this one to keep me cool throughout the day as well as to keep the humidity and the coolness over my electronic devices I use, my laptop, my desktop computer, and my printer. I have heard that many companies have what they call like casual days, something like casual Friday where you don't have to be all dressed up in a coat and tie or whatever. Um, at least that's what I've heard. Truth be told, I've not worked for any company since, what, 1979. I've, ever since then I've worked for myself. But that's what I've heard that they do. For me, working here in the tropics of Veracruz, every day is casual Friday. My attire, my work attire, shirtless, shorts, and of course, flip-flops. However, I am prepared. If somebody happens to come over or if I need to run some errands, I do have a shirt that's handy that I can throw on really quick. That way I look a little bit more official. But otherwise, because of the humidity, the heat, with a fan blowing on me, it's just easier not to wear a shirt. Plus, less laundry to have to wash every week. Recently, I was reading different articles about the benefits of a stand-up desk. I was reading about how unhealthy it is to be sitting for long periods of time while working. I knew that before, but after reading these different articles, it finally hit home for me that I needed to stand up while I was working. One of the articles I read was from Healthline.com, and it was entitled, The Seven Benefits of a Standing Desk. Let me go through those real quick for you. The first benefit, standing lowers your risk of weight gain and obesity. And it goes on to say, weight gain is ultimately caused by taking in more calories than you burn. Conversely, burning more calories than you take in results in weight loss. While exercise is the most effective way to burn calories quickly, simply choosing to stand instead of sitting can also be beneficial. In fact, when compared to an afternoon of sedentary work, an equal amount of time spent standing has been shown to burn over 170 additional calories. That's almost a thousand extra calories burned each week from simply standing at your desk each afternoon. The caloric difference could be one of the reasons why sitting longer is so strongly linked to obesity and metabolic disease. Number two, using a standing desk may lower blood sugar levels. Generally speaking, the more your blood sugar levels increase after meals, the worse it is for your health. This is especially true for those with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. In a small study of 10 office workers, standing for 180 minutes after lunch reduced the blood sugar spike by 43% compared to sitting for the same amount of time. Both groups took the same amount of steps, indicating that the smaller spike was due to standing rather than additional physical movements around the office. Another study involving 23 office workers found that alternating between standing and sitting every 30 minutes throughout the day reduced blood sugar spikes by 11.1% on average. Number three, standing may lower your risk of heart disease. Then they have a study here, it says they found that bus conductors who stood all day long had half the risk of heart disease related deaths as their colleagues in the driver's seats. So scientists have developed over time in understanding the effects of sitting and heart health. And they found that with prolonged sedentary time, they thought to increase the risk of heart disease by up to 140% by sitting long periods of time. And it goes on to say it is so harmful that even an hour of intense exercise may not make up for the negative effects of an entire day spent sitting. So it concludes by saying there is no doubt that spending more time on your feet is beneficial for heart health. Then we go on to number four. They're saying standing desks appear to reduce back pain. Now, a lot of times during the day when I've been sitting for long periods of time, my back does hurt, so I, I can relate to this. 
Back pain is one of the most common complaints of office workers who sit all day. To determine if standing desks could improve this, several studies have been done on employees with long-term back pain. So, they found out in this study that the participants reported up to 32% improvement in lower back pain after several weeks of using standing desks. And another study by the CDC found that the use of sit-stand desks reduced the upper back and neck pain by 54% after just a month. And additionally, it says removal of the sit-stand desks reversed some of these improvements within a two-week period. Hmm, that's interesting. Number five, standing desks help improve mood and energy levels. Standing desks appear to have a positive influence on overall well-being. In a one seven-week study, the participants found that using standing desks, they reported less stress and fatigue than those who remained seated the whole workday. And additionally, 87% of those using standing desks reported increased vigor and energy throughout the day. Hey, that's kind of what sold me on this idea of jumping into a standing desk. It says, upon returning to their old desk, overall moods reverted to their original levels. These findings align with broader research on sitting and mental health, which links sedentary time with an increased risk of both depression and anxiety. Who the heck wants depression and anxiety? Yuck. Okay, number six, standing desks may even boost productivity. A common concern about standing desks is that they hinder daily tasks, such as typing. While standing each afternoon may take some time getting used to. Yeah, it has. I've been doing this for about a week now, and, and it did take some time to get used to. Um, it says standing desks appear to have no significant impact on typical work tasks. I've found that to be true as well. In a study of 60 young office employees using a standing desk for four hours each day, they had no impact on character typed, characters typed per minute or typing errors. Considering that standing improves mood and energy as well, using a standing desk is more likely to boost productivity rather than hinder it. All right, is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. Number seven, standing more may help you live longer. Wow, that's a bold claim. Let's see what he says. Studies have found a strong link between increased sitting and early death. Mm. Mm. This is not surprising given the strong association between sedentary time, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. In fact, a review of 18 studies found that those who sit the most are at a 49% greater risk of dying early than those who sit at the least, or sit the least. Another study estimated that reducing sitting time to three hours per day would raise the average American's life expectancy by two years. What could you accomplish with two extra years? Hmm. Well, these observational studies... <laughs> Let me read that again. While these observational studies do not prove cause and effect, the weight of evidence indicates standing more often could help lengthen our lifespan. So I like this... Uh, this last thing, it says, it's time to take a stand. Reducing sedentary time can improve physical, metabolic, and even mental health. This is why sitting less and standing more is such an important lifestyle change. If you wanna try this out, then most places who sell office furniture offer sit, stand desks. You can purchase them online too. All right, let me show you what I did. I actually made my own standing desk. I had an old milk crate, you can see it there, and then I took some books I had and figured out how high to raise my laptop computer. Now that I had this, I could stand and I could easily uh, type, it was easy to do, uh, but I needed elevation for my mouse, and so what I did was I found this stand this little table that I had it's a fold up table wood table and then I took some of my <laughs> since I'm in tourism I have a lot of books on uh, Mexico like this one Mexico City Puebla and Cuernavaca and I figured out how many books I needed to feel comfortable using my mouse right here and my external hard drives I just took some cardboard 
and extended it so I had a little bit of space to put my external hard drives which I can then hook into uh, my computer and it worked out really great so not only now do I have a stand-up uh, workspace but um, it's close to my printer so I can hook it in and I still have an additional uh, desktop computer as well which has my chair so I have the best of both worlds right here with my homemade do-it-yourself <laughs> stand-up uh, workstation right here in my office apartment to add to my workstation I put a rug on the floor which I can stand on the last thing I did is I went to Home Depot there's one not too far from my office and I bought a nice cushion tall chair that I can sit on so if I want to take a break and sit down from standing I can still do that I can review what I'm doing I can continue working while I'm sitting if I want to so I've got the best of both worlds standing up and sitting because of this tall chair since I do have company over to my office that's you well virtually I decided to get fancy and put on my shirt to end this video the videos in this channel are all about my impressions of living and working here in the state of Veracruz in Mexico. If you like what I'm doing, please uh, consider subscribing, push the bell, stay in touch. I've got more to come and it's just like I said, my impressions. I'm not here to entice people to come to Mexico. I'm not here to give you tips about being and living in Mexico, although sometimes that does happen. It's my impressions, as I said, as I see it. Until next time, hasta luego.